Hi guys, welcome back. And today I have a special video. I'm doing a spring collab dessert with Coupon Forever. So I want you guys to go check her out. She's doing um, a spring dessert as well. And I'm gonna be sharing with you guys a frozen pie um, type. It's like a caramel pie. So um, I'm not even sure what the name is, but I'm gonna call it a caramel pie. One of my friends had um, did this before and it tasted really good and it's a perfect dessert to have in the springtime even summertime because you freeze it and it just tastes so good so I have my little mixture here um, this is uh, I got this at Walmart during Black Friday I think I paid like under $15 and it's like the best little thing I love it so this a uh, pie only takes very few ingredients, which I even like that. That makes it even easier. You just need one tub of Cool Whip. You need a 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk. You need a pie crust, like a graham cracker pie crust. And then you need an eight ounce um, cream cheese. And then some caramel syrup. Caramel, caramel, however you want to pronounce it. I'm pronouncing it my way, so. And then you need like your little spatula, which I got this at the 99 cent store, I think for like 25 cents, so. Anyways, let's get started. So the first thing you're going to um, add is just the whole tub of condensed milk. So I just add the whole little can of condensed milk. Next, I'm going to add the cream cheese so I just added the cream cheese mixture with the um, condensed milk and we're going to um, go ahead and mix this all together all right guys I figured you didn't want to hear all that noise but I have um, the two ingredients mixed together and now we're gonna pour this into the pie crust and this um, amount can usually make two so I did buy uh, two crusts but um, because I like a lot of whipped cream in mine as well because this is pretty rich and it's pretty um, sweet so if you're not a big sweet person <laughs> this might not be the dessert for you but it's really good so I'm going to go ahead and pour um, half that mixture inside this pie crust so here's what half the mixture is. I added it to the pie crust. Now we're gonna go ahead and add half of, um, I'm not sure if I used the whole tub of whipped cream or half. I forgot, I haven't made this recipe in a long time, but I'm gonna go try to use half and see if I can use the other half for the other pie. All right guys, so before I add the whipped cream, I almost forgot the Sunday syrup. We're gonna add this caramel um, syrup, like we're just gonna drizzle it in on top. All right, guys, so I got cut off, so um, I left off where I was going to drizzle a little bit of this into my pie filling, so we're going to go ahead and do that. So that's what it looks like. I just drizzled a little bit um, on top of that pie filling. Now we're going to go ahead and use the whipped cream. All right, so that did take the whole tub of whipped cream, and I had an 8 ounce, so you would definitely need to buy two tubs if you want to make two pies. But, um, so after that, then you're just going to go ahead and drizzle some more caramel on top. Let's see. And I kind of just make like little lines going down. And then I make some going across. And then once that's done, you want to put the lid on top. So you definitely want to make sure you get the kind that have the lid, the little plastic seal lid. And then you want to make sure you close the whole pie and then you're gonna put this in the freezer for about at least two hours at least till the whole pie gets frozen 
And then once I pull it out of the freezer, I will uh, cut into it and show you guys what it looks like. All right guys, so my pie has been in the freezer for over two hours. I just cut a little slice there. And then here is my slice. And I'm gonna take a little bite. Get some Cool Whip on there. Oh yeah, super good guys, super good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this dessert that I made for the spring. And like I said, you can definitely use it for the summertime or even all year round if you really like sweets. And uh, don't forget to check Couponing Forever, her channel, and check out her spring dessert that she made. And I will leave her link below. And I will see you guys all next time. Bye.